Hey what's up this is Riyadh from Oxcoding and in this video we'll put everything together and show the movie details on our activity. Now let's declare variable view model and movie repository with late in it. Now we need a view model provider factory for our single movie view model. So let's create a function get view model. It takes parameter movie id and return type is single movie view model. Return view model providers of this and view model provider factory. Override create with generic type view model. Return single movie view model. If you remember, our parameters were movie repository and movie ID. So here is movie repository and movie ID. Let's import these. And here, class reference of single movie view model. Let's suppress this warning. Now let's set the movie ID to 1 for now. And here we are getting the movie DV client in API service. And we initialize the movie details repository by passing the API service. Then we get the view model by calling the function get view model with movie ID. Now we can observe movie details from single movie view model as it's a live data. So let's observe this movie details. As we are observing this movie details, if any changes happen, we can update our UI here. But here we are seeing an error. To solve this, let's go to build.gradle. In app compat, this version needs to be greater than 1.1. So let's put 1.1.0 alpha 05. Sync the project. Now the error is gone. Now let's call this function bind UI by passing the parameter it which is movie details type. This will update our UI when any changes happens to the live data. Now let's create the function bind UI with parameter it of type movie details. And here we set the title of our text view to it.title, tagline text view to it.tagline and so on. And here we are formatting the currency by using number format. And we are using this currency format to format the value of budget and revenue. And here we are combining the poster path with poster base URL to get the full URL. And then we are using glide to show poster into our image view. We also need to observe the network state. View model dot network state dot observe If network state is loading, we set the visibility of progress bar to visible, else we set it to gone. And if there is an error, we set the visibility of our text error to visible or else gone. Now to test the app, let's create a button in our main activity to go to our single movie activity. So in the activity main XML file, let's change this to a button. Now add an ID of btn. Now on to our main activity. Set on click listener to that button. And on click we go to single movie. And we put the ID of Avengers Endgame input extra. Then we start the activity. Now in single movie let's receive the ID with intent dot get int extra. Now let's create a package UI and put our main activity and single movie inside of this UI package. Now to run the app we need internet permission in our manifest. So let's add the permission. Let's suppress this warning. Okay, now let's start the app. Let's click on this button. We can see our progress bar. And here are all the details about the movie. Let's go back. Turn off the internet. And we can see connection problem. That's all for this video. The project link is in the video description. 
and don't forget to like share and subscribe to watch more videos see you guys in the next one